What is going on here, Stan here, bringing you a tutorial on how to steal a fighter jet in Grand Theft Auto V. Let's get this started straight away. What you want to do is get your phone out, phone yourself a taxi, skip the conversation. And when your taxi is on the way, you want to set a waypoint to this road here in North Chumash, just down from Sandy uh, Palito Bay. Now, while you wait for your taxi, you want to practice your Kung Fu. Okay, when your taxi arrives, you want to hop into your taxi as fast as you can. Skip straight to your destination. Now as soon as you arrive you want to hold Y or triangle to steal the taxi. Now you want to be heading, turn your lights off because it seems to get you noticed uh, a lot later. You want to head for that hangar right there with a the blue writing on the side. I think it's writing, no, it's windows. But yeah, turn your lights off seems to get you noticed a lot later. Look, I'm driving around and I haven't got a wanted level until now. Okay, so you want to hop out your taxi, hop in the jet now if you do it at the t roughly the time I've done it it'll take forever to get noticed ok so you wanna fly on straight up and out of there as fast as you can you wanna try and get out of the restricted air space as fast as you can as well Now you want to watch out for these missiles by the jets that are following you. Okay, so I recommend flying up high because you seem to lose them quite quickly. Apart from this, the helicopters that are following. Okay, so. Once you get roughly out of range of them, you want to go ahead and set your waypoint to Trevor's Landing Strip. This is, of course, if you've played the storyline, you may or may not have that yet. Okay. Put your landing gear away because you want to act like a normal person. Okay, don't worry about your engine stalling every now and then. Okay, so once you've lost them, you want to fly on over to the landing strip. Is this the right one? Yes, it is. You want to fly on over the landing strip, get your landing gear out. Now you want to slow down just enough to be able to make a decent landing. Not enough for your engines to turn off like that. Okay, so you want to gently land it on that runway. You want to upgrade your flying skill like that. And then you want to go and stick this. Or try and stick this. In the hangar. I don't know if that's going to be possible. Quite a small hangar. Way I. Then jump out and Bob's your uncle. You've got yourself a fighter jet. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and there's probably going to be outtakes at the end, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> What's going on? Ace Dan here, I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to get a fighter jet in Grand Theft Auto 5. So first off, what you want to do is you want to phone yourself a taxi, because it's faster than driving there. And while you're waiting for your taxi, you want to set a waypoint just down from the entrance to the military base. Now you want to stand around and wait for your taxi. Maybe kick a few cars. Right. So you want to jump in your taxi 
and quickly skip to the waypoint. As soon as you arrive, you want to jump straight into the driver's seat of that taxi and then head towards the army base. Now that you've got to be fast so you don't get shot but you head into the hangar just on the other side of this gate here so you want to go straight through straight round the corner run a few guys over just ignore the tanks or don't ignore the tanks because the tanks What's going on? Here's Dan here, showing you a tutorial on how to get the fighter jet in Grand Theft Auto 5. What you want to do to start off with is phone your taxi. Because taxis are a faster way of getting around. Now, before the taxi gets here, you want to set a waypoint to just down from the entrance to the military base. And then you stand around with your taxi. Okay, when your taxi gets here, you want to jump on in and skip to your destination. And then quickly jump into the driver's seat of the taxi. Turn back around towards the military base. You want to turn your annoying music off. Right, you want to head straight for the hangar just on the other side of the gate. And you want to head there as fast as possible, otherwise you'll get shot to death. Watch out for tanks, because tanks tend to blow you up as well. Right, so what you want to do is you want to come into this hangar right here. Jump out your taxi. Jump in the jet. Don't worry about the vehicles in front. Because you can just fly over them. Get your landing gear up. Now the reason I chose Trevor is because you can just land at his runway. Now you want to watch out for missiles. Okay, one's not a problem. Now as you can see I've got jets chasing us, but if you just keep going up they'll lose track of you. Just keep going up and up. Level out a bit so you can get away from the restricted airspace. And then once them four stars are gone, eventually, now you've got obviously cannons with this, you press X or square to change which weapon, you press A or X to fire. Now your engines will fail a bit if you've been shot, but once you've lost that, you want to set your waypoint to your landing strip and you want to fly on over there without your engines failing and dying like that make sure you bring a parachute just in case there's my engines off again tap them the trigger always seems to get them started again. Now when you land this in the hangar of course, if you leave it there, leave the area and come back it will be fixed so you don't have to worry about any damages to the rear fin. Okay, so you want to pop your landing gear out. 
you want to slow right down or not and you want to blow up because me engine failed great what's going on is down here giving you a tutorial on how to steal a jet in Grand Theft Auto 5 so first off you want to phone a taxi you want to skip the conversation because it's boring and then you want to set your waypoint in this area just to the left here just before the end of it and you want to stand around and wait for your taxi maybe put out your stun gun shoot a few people oops you want to quickly jump in your taxi and skip straight to the waypoint Right, you want to quickly jump in at the driver's seat of the taxi before he drives away. Now you're aiming for that hangar right in front of the gate. You just want to drive there, into there as fast as you can. Without getting blown up off tanks. And there's a bloody tank right there. Try not to let that hit you. What's going on here, Stan here, giving you a tutorial on how to steal a jet in Grand Theft Auto 5. What you want to do straight away is phone yourself a taxi. Skip the conversation because I've heard it God knows how many times now. Now you want to quickly set a waypoint to this area of the map right here. On the left, just down from Sandy Shores. And you want to stand around and wait for your taxi. This time, I'm not going to stun on a few people. I'm not going to shoot a few people either, so I'll put that away. Now you're going to stand around and wait for your taxi. Here it is. Okay, so you want to hop on in that taxi. You want to tell your driver to turn the music off, and you want to skip to your destination. Now as soon as you get out of the taxi, you want to hold Y or triangle, so you steal the taxi. Now you want to aim for the hangar just on the other side of this gate. So I'd recommend going as fast as you can. Watch out for army personnel and tanks. Turning your lights off seems to make it so you're not as visible until you get to a certain point and then they start to notice you. So you want to jump out your taxi quickly jump into your jet before any tanks arrive you wanna start the engine up and take off as fast as you can heading straight up into the air because it seems like it's the fastest way to lose your wanted level so just keep on heading up now once you get it flashing like that you want to set your waypoint for your landing strip so you can start heading in that general direction. Now you will get locked on too. Just have to try and outmaneuver the missiles. Or get hit by them. And go down and crash land because you've got no engine anymore great just fabulous <coughs> what's going on is down here bringing you a tutorial on how to steal a fighter jet what you want to do is you want to phone yourself a taxi God's sake. once you have phone your taxi you want to go ahead and set a waypoint to this little road right here on the left it's a uh, north Chamash so you want to set your waypoint there 
and you want to stand and run away for your taxi. Now, of course, once your taxi arrives, you want to not get run over by it. You want to hop in your taxi, skip to the destination. Otherwise, it's a heck of a drive. Now, I recommend using Trevor for this because he's got the flight skill and he's got the hangar to store it in. Now, as soon as you get here, you want to hold Y or Triangle and stay on the taxi. And you want to head towards them gates up there. As you can see, there's a little blue building, blue and white building. That's where you want to head to without getting hit by any tanks or getting shot to death. So you want to go there as fast as you can without dying. Or you can die, you know. Dying's fun. What's going on is down here, and today I'm bringing you a tutorial of how to get a fighter jet in Grand Theft Auto 5. Now, to start off, what you want to do is you want to phone a taxi because it's the quickest way to get around. Believe it or not. And now, while you wait for the taxi, you want to set your waypoint to just before the entrance to the military base. And then you stand around looking all casual, waiting for your taxi. Which should be here in a sec. It's around the corner. Okay, so you want to jump in the taxi. And then skip to your waypoint. Then as fast as you can you want to steal your taxi. Now this, you have to be quick. Can you see, just up ahead there, there's a hangar right next to them white cylinders. You want to get there as fast as you can, get in front of the jet, and then get in the jet. Now you shouldn't get a wanted level until you get just in. don't have to worry about tanks and stuff, right, so you want to come to this hangar here, and then you die. 